recording. Going in the game. All right. I really do love the mask aesthetic too. It's really cool. I do too. It's real nice. It looks real clean. Wooner. Uh, it's a new game. Uh, I've beaten the game already, so I have access to stuff, but, uh, uh still normal just to sew it off. I don't have to worry hey. about dying. Hey, Chris, so what is it. Ruiner? Uh, top-down twin-stick suitor set in, uh, is it twin-stick? Well, you know what I mean. Set in this very dystopian future world. Uh, you play as this character, who has this mask on their face, presumably is their head present... Maybe. Uh, That's really uh, cool looking. Bundle kills people. Looks really good though. Like, look at that jacket. It's a really Damn good weird. jacket. Yeah. Evans, the place where we are at. It's gold. Did you? It's the game. All masks kind of changes over time too, based off. Uh, Randomness. You oh, it just changes. Three, two, okay. One. All is online. You in heaven. You're here to kill the boss. You know you're here. You gotta say if you want to live. Now let's test out those controls. All right. Your boss. That's our job. I was not right expecting have... top down. Yeah. This is what I meant, like my twin stick. So, objective: attack with left mouse button. Whack. Also, the music is awesome. Is it an auto it runner? Be... No. Okay. I'm moving. The fun boys bring them down. Might have to be worried about the music too. That might be something you might have to be cautious of, unfortunately. But it's good. Remember correctly, you have a slowdown effect as well. After you kill, that was more of a combo thing. But we should have a dash too that will teach us soon. This red oh, and black is my red and black is my favorite color scheme, and this is doing some shit for me, dude. Yeah, I know it's full of it. Dash, here we go. Use a watch plus right mouse button. It was right mouse button, huh? I forgot. So you see how we have these three dashes at the bottom? That's our charge. Oh, okay, so you get about three want. of them. Yeah. See, this thing will follow us. We can whack it and dash at the same time frame. We dodge it out. Nice. That's a heal station here. We can go in here. Some rando smugs just go. Go away. I, I can't hit him. Uh, so now that we have dash, we're going to keep dashing forward. Uh, during our dash, we're invincible. As I think this will probably teach us here. And also, I think it'll about to teach us here that we can kind of place our dashes and plan things out. But I can't remember what the teach us here or not. Right? Also, dash isn't based off where your uh, mouse is. It's based off your input. So this one does play better with the control stick if you want to move. I was going to say, it sounds like it would be a little more... Yeah. However, there's the also controller. a bit of a gunplay later, uh, and that does work better for mouse and keyboard. So go uh, go apply your hybrid setups for this game if you want. This is a recharge of energy, which we'll get to use in a bit here. Oh, here you go. Open video menu with left alt. Yeah. And this is our specialty stuff we can do. So oh, okay. Here's the barrier. And how long does the barrier last? Oh, Jesus, that flashing. You, yeah. The top left of our energy bar uses energy. Ah, gotcha. So, so it's not infinite, but it's not uh, one and done. Yeah. So I think here, we experience some stuff going on in the moment here. What are these uh, signs saying? Uh, Space stuff? Future stuff? No entry? General aesthetic. Up. Let's put it that way. Activate seal. Please hide and wait for health. Recharged. Put this here. Back out. 
still up. And they stopped caring. There's a lot going on. I'm sure it looks beautiful when you're recording, but it is oh, killing yeah. itself over Parse. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> and I'm also playing on high end settings my computer, so it's, you know. But I'm not doing great when it has to steam over things. Yep, oh, rack him, rack him. So, what a notable aspects the uh, theme, the style of this game it exudes is fantastic. The music, absolutely stellar and works. Uh, great with this aesthetic, dystopian style. Uh, gameplay is pretty dang fun. We're still in melee combat range, but there'll be guns later on, and very soon, I think. Um, still enemies here? There you go. Back them all. Uh, there's some like survival modes later on. New game plus is you can run through this game, I think, uh, without dying, like mm -hmm. uh, Iron Man mode, if you want to. Iron Man mode like, sounds like it would be pretty high tense and fun with this yeah. kind of uh, playstyle. And this game's got a speed run mode, I believe. Oh, neat. Where I scroll mouse and switch between guns. We got a gun. So, yeah, it's a gun. Kind of just got to see them keep on the color combos, point scores, and all that stuff. They drop guns sometimes, you can pick those up. To be fair, the gun is kind of worse than ours. Uh, I believe we can pop these somehow. I don't have the button for that, so we're kind of at the mercy of this thing. Oh, fine. Oh, we have a better gun, though. Here we go. Kill a boss. In case you forgot, that was an objective. We gotta kill boss. Alright, this teaches us how we can kind of time our dashes. Hold it, and then we can select areas. And we'll do dash in quick succession. So that's useful for some stuff later on. I think it might have us do it in a slip bit, but... I'm on your side, they said. I don't know what that means. Look at that, it's a gun. Obviously, we're just a brainwashed puppet in the s system of society or here. some stupid anarchist shit. Uh, probably not far off. Oh, dash to safety. Uh, sure. I don't know what safety is when we have a gun, you know? Safety is when everyone's dead. Yeah. Everyone's dead but you. Uh, how it works. Safety is uh, the thing I don't turn on. Because I have a yes. gun. Safety is for uh, the weak. Oh, this is your hacking, by the way. That unlocks these containers. And it's harder hacking things. And we might be able to get to one that's tricky. But for the most part, this one will be the case. This is a shotgun. There are different guns, and you will find the ones you like the most. Sadly, you don't really take them with you. You just have to find them. I'm digging that shotgun, and though. You get a gun, but it's out of ammo. You'll find your gun, the stuff you like the most. And you can only have one gun, one melee weapon. So how long is a level, typically? Um, a good bit. But this is tutorial land, so we're kind of being blocked off by tutorial people person telling us what to do first. Gotcha. But you can kind of run through levels a lot faster. Like, um, the only reason we're kind of forced to stop is uh, these battle rooms, which is fine. But also for um, the story bit and hallway mess, which are in the game, mind you. How often but, do you find battle rooms? Uh, frequent, commonly, and expectedly. Nature of the game is pretty much these battle room. Uh, there's not much in terms of platforming, it's mainly battle rooms and maybe hallway rooms. Oh, this one's got like fire ammo. And uh, tutorial land, so a lot of this is just nothing. They also have voices to them. Those, uh, just detonation mines. Got cotton bales. There you go. And, uh, like I said, there is a high score mode where you can kind of speed through these games. It's a lot different. A lot more enjoyable. You have, like, numbers to help you out. Okay. I thought he died. High score mode sounds like fun. I thought he died. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that gun. 
I did. Oh, nope. Still one more. This reminds me of, uh, what the fuck was that, uh, first person game with similar aesthetic that Ooh, Matt don't played? Do it, though. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the same kind of high, high octane action is what I'm getting from this. Um, first person one, huh? I don't know. It's probably a good number, mind you. Probably argue that's also like Doom and stuff. Oh, I'm sure. It was, it was like a, it was a, um, not necessarily a Doom clone, because those don't really exist anymore, but... Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think there was one that was announced recently. But then again, recently is uh, random in, you know, video timelines. Yeah. That so doesn't mean anything. Honestly, the slowest part is waiting for them to spawn. Yeah, they seem to be spawning pretty slow compared to how fast they're killing them. Yeah. Dead? Oh yeah, you can kind of dash. I'm I'm stuck in a person. <laughs> Gross. Did that kill I got you? I'm stuck in a person, more or less. Like I I could have hit him with my melee attack, but it was too late before I realized what was going on. Yeah. Uh, but death I think normally has no real consequence. You just have to reset the room. Basically, there is no death limit unless you're doing like a hardcore run. Yeah. It's just that you have to clear the room, of course. You have to beat the room to keep progress. There's no real uh, loss to keep trying. Just the agonizing uh, pain of defeat each time. And knowing that you could do it. And the even boss, then, though, that stops being... Uh... What if I don't do it, though? So we're kind of getting these weird messages from a secondary individual now, too. Uh-huh. We don't really know her name yet, so it's going to... The other one. Don't this listen to first, your master. Boss character? Probably? Technically? Look at those fucking Duke Nukem haircuts. Oh yeah. Look at these corporate fucking smucks. With a gun. I wonder who's important here. That could be so simple. Oh, I Obviously it's, it's not the guy the smoking a cig. Yeah. You want to kill my boss to make sure you... I'm going to make sure you, make sure you don't. So there is to this. Everything else is as it should be. And I'll drink to that when you're done. Get him, boys. He looks like a jobber. Oh, yeah. All right, zero hour. The boss fades behind this door. And because he's uh, this guy, your master, as he calls himself, is an asshole, I'm setting a timer. You die when it reaches zero. Killing enemies will delay the inevitable. Fight as fast as you can if you want to live. Uh, so. This is a thing I think that happens commonly enough here. Every now and again. These death timers. Where you just have to kind of keep killing. Uh, and if you don't, you die. He's the boss, so you can see his timer. Uh, it's health-wise to say at the top. But I mean, you can kind of just keep whacking him. The issue is the timer, so I have to make sure I kill every now and again for fun, you know? Get that, uh, get that yeah. point. Yeah. But he's dead. Like I said, the movement's based off uh, movement, not your mouse, so dashing is a pain sometimes. Open door. But don't do it, though. So now we're going to see, uh, we're going to hack it our way to the boss to go kill him. But something happened. And uh, our arm's gone now. Got blown off. I'm digging the way they are doing these cutscenes. Yeah, they're really cool. And we're rebooting. So our mind's kind of weird. We have some weird implant. Maybe we're a robot. I don't know. That fucking cat. But they can hack us as they want. Yep. Her. That's all she knows. Holy shit, not too late, am I? This fucking uh, ooh woo eyes. Sock, sock face. Oh, she's happy. She's got a lot more. You okay? Uh, not, I guess. I've been trying to reach you. Someone hacked your damn brain. I mean, I wonder who. I'm just talking to someone right now. To set up, to assassinate the boss of heaven, a uh, shrug face, I guess. That's a shrug face. There's more bad news. It the took your brother to make sure you do the job. Of oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah? Uh, welcome to the future. That's the give up machine. But you don't know it's the give up machine. 
I love to that give up machines. That means unless we get back him, him back first. Get out of here fast. Head to Vancock South. Our content is there. And that's the tutorial. So 11 minutes. Killed 111. Karma gained. Karma is a like, currency. That's one. Same that I had one. So the karma is used for like skill points or similar to skill points. You level up and I stuff with them. I think skill points or you purchase something. I can't remember what. Oh, we're having a little cutscene where Devolver Digital. They, they create stuff. They, Crazy uh, company. They create right. and games. distribute really good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Kind of meandering our way in. Welcome to uh, Rangok. Rangok. <laughs> right, Minecock. Ah, uh, yes. Cyberpunk. Yeah. Cyberpunk. The, uh, the other cyberpunk. The other cyberpunk. Yeah. Uh, and we're just going to kind of collapse here. A little tired. A little sleepy boy. Mooner. This begins the main story part. Speaking of Devolver, how about mm. fucking Fall Guys being purchased by Epic? Yeah. yeah. How, lo how long till they pull it from Steam? I don't think they will. Didn't they pull Rocket League from Steam? Steam? And as much as I like... Oh, you know, this is the old card. Some crazy guy. Don't worry about it. As much as I like to say, you know, they would do it for their own, you know, storefront... It'd be like a huge, like bad move on the in terms of the monetary stuff, and I think they know that. A lot of the player base on Steam is there from Steam, and they're not gonna move. Um, and they'd be very upset if, for some reason, you know, all that content they had purchased on the game is suddenly unavailable. Didn't they the do that with Rocket moved. League though? Because I didn't I that mean, get pulled from Steam. I don't know if it got pulled from Steam. It might still be on Steam. I can still play it on Steam, but I don't know if they requires a login to Epic or not now. I haven't touched it on PC for a good while. Remember anything at all? How you got here? I don't know what the voice would be. Uh, yeah, fucking shrug. Whatever happened left your mess for? I first you had to gut it with an unarmed gun and blood arriving everywhere. That mask of yours is all going all kinds of hair wire. Normally I'd scrap you for parts. I helped you only because C asked me to. Although ass doesn't exactly cut it. I put your faceplate back together with spit and glue and bubble gum. <laughs> and never start a new arm. Fixes them doing your hardware's old and dirt. I also fixed your new citizenship. Thought you might need fresh start. Can I earn your karma back and new customer? Yeah, I mean we all have citizenship. Remember that? And we all got implanted with those citizenship. Ah uh, yes, it was a it was a it was a weird day. Lost uh yeah. part of that memory. These are skill points. Uh all right. Skill points. New abilities are unlocked as your karma level increases. Activate them with skill points. Swap between active abilities in the radio manual. Uh skill points. All right, that's what Karma is. I think we have to unlock it. Maybe experience something like that. Either way, skill points where we get them. Uh, they're doing stuff. You can upgrade your list of skills that we'll get more information on later. Or not. In full, in full action, each ability can each develop upgrades. And try it out. If you activate any ability or upgrade, you retrieve skill points to activate different ones. Command your skill from anywhere. Just hit Y to enter the panel. Skill points go. Use them wisely. Okay. So we start out with this one. But because we kind of went through that sock, we actually lost all our abilities. So oh, the um, the Samus tripped and lost all her power of uh, yeah. theory. Gotcha. Uh, my personal favorite, I think, was the skilled one, but it's not unlocked yet. Got to wait. I honestly uh, wasn't one. expecting a skill tree system. Yeah, that's a solid. Yeah, it's quite a bit here. This one, I think, is a good one. Let's grab that one now because it's our dash ability. We don't have a dash ability unless we buy this. Oh god. It removed our dash ability. Speaking of which, we haven't gotten there yet, but when we get to Halo Reach, that's uh -huh. when we um unlock the sprint ability and it is an uh -huh. ability, meaning you slot I think I just heard that one and I hate that. Yeah, you slot in sprint uh -huh. with like jetpack and armor lock and other stuff. So you can't just sprint normally. You have to choose whether or not to do that. Man, this is the city or town. Look Maybe at this not Neo Japan Asian China, town, yeah. Japan town, I don't know, but also uh, you know dystopian. Bangkok South. Oh yeah, Neo China. Hmm. This is our uh, sort of hub world. I hate that McCann X. McCann X. Uh, there you are. We gotta move fast. You wanna save your brother. The one you have, your brother. She's got a pretty cute design, despite being clad in fucking red. 
Yeah, she's pretty cute. Can't really see the eyes, but they're there. And it, and it's, it's just a hint of it. I uh, haven't stopped a code name wizard. I try to signal Van out. His trail cuts here. There's this ex-cop, Rustam, who's lives at Stuart the Boss Tech Bar. He's well connected for a junk rich in town. Rustam will know where he is. Talk to him. Remember, you can hit tab. If you get lost, confused. Good luck, have fun. Yay. Emoji. Okay. We'll man a few words. I think. You might be a man. Probably a man, you know? This uh, kind of makes him? me want to play Fallout 2. I played a little the bit. Ones? Yeah, the older one. I played a little bit of it, and I liked it way better than I did when I jumped into three. Mm. And this is making me kind of want to return to that. It's fair. The aesthetic, maybe. That's doing it. A lot of the aesthetic, yeah, except it's less mm. city and more wasteland. Hmm. Okay. Okay, they got a pool and underground parking garage. If you're looking to make a little extra karma, you'll find a few other most wanted types there too. He's got a piece on their heads. Steve. Oh, I'm really stupid. I actually want to know about those bounties. Uh, oh, he didn't tell me about the bounties. Oh, well, doesn't matter. At the parking garage. Uh, so we can go journey around, talk to things. Uh, do you want to do the next level? I don't know how long it is. Might be a bit. Yeah, we're down for the... I'm down for the next level. You can talk to a couple okay. things on the way. Okay. Uh, there's some side missions you can do here and there, but... These NPCs are NPCs. Side missions is it? Don't try to carry them and that's it. There are some special ones like this guy, opportunist. I need sort of. What is uh, that on his out, face? Uh, it looks know, like he didn't want to commit to a full ass plate. Yeah, always into uh, BDSM. You know? He's got that. I would be totally into someone dominating me. Look. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He looks like he would. Um. So do me a favor. Look, he looks like he would you? talk big, and be the worst guy to work with at the office. But on Saturdays, uh -huh. you can find him in the local sex dungeon. Yeah. 100%. They know him by name. They know him by name. They have his card on file at the ready. Oh, this is another person we talked to. A girl. Hooligan. I know what? I'm going to tell you some video. Which, uh, what is that video face? Just... Yeah. It's weird. Simply because of, I guess, the juxtaposition between you and her clearly, like, artistic form. Like, everyone else is the same, but for whatever reason, hers is the more off for me. There's that, and then there's the the clear she's turning into a literal cat girl. And that's, Probably. That's just weird to look at. Anyways, that's side missions, but we won't do those. Let's get straight to level. Hacking. I was going to yeah. say, it seems kind of early to be getting side missions. Yeah, those are side missions. Now, the thing is, the side missions are done in that sector, except for the opportunist one. That's what we just kind of do over time. Gotcha. Creeps nest. So the creeps are just another kind of gang. Uh, crazy, off the rocker, and just, you know, crazy. Think um. Think of the guys from Borderlands, the main enemy types. Oh, the psychos. Psychos. There you go. The gang drains third children, hunted by the system, hiding underground. The leader's a legendary psycho named Nerve. Keeps them together. I don't remember what third children are, but that's lore. You can go find out. I was about to say, the fuck is a third children? Yeah. It's right. He's a cute latest meal ticket. They won't let him go without a fight. These boys are curious because they look at you, so be careful. Go get him, puppy. I, I don't know what that emoji is. Woo. Alright. So, this guy, the first guy who hacked, hacked us, called Wizard, Bobby Hacker, and Mrs. Coward hacked you and left you to die. He's our first target. We're gonna go kill him. Find the wizard. Oh, that's, that's is, a he a, is he a grand wizard? <laughs> he would be. He would be. <laughs> Hurry up, man. Let's bounce. There's no dialogue. It's text. I don't know exactly saw them. I think it's to show you there's turrets. Or something similar. I uh, examine trap. Interesting piece of engineering, huh? Thieves can make traps out of anything. Garbage cans and rusty pipes. Photocopy is dead rats to pipe crack. It's kind of cute. Oh, I can't do anything else. That's it. Oh, all right. Just here. And it's full of karma. So karma is not currency. It's our experience level. We need higher karma to be able to pretty much do extra stuff. Gotcha. Get better skill points. So the higher the karma, else. the more you level up, and then the more you level up, the more skill points you got. Yeah. Uh, what's, uh, what's that button? I can't remember what button it was. I'll find out later. Who knows? 
thought it was tab, but it's not tab. Enter, alt, control, don't remember. It's fine. Don't need it. Oop. That was a token. Collectible. From Karma, collect it, level up. Yeah, I, I've been kind of been collecting that. I don't know why that showed up now. Uh, so the creeps are kind of, well, creeps. Like I said, they're psychos. That was a trap we passed by. It didn't trigger on us, though. We missed it. Alright, time to fight room. Gotta get these money, though, first. You know? Is there anything you got, you know, while you're killing at the bounty hunter, you always make time for the money. Always make time for the money. That's why yeah, you're it's... here doing this job. Yeah. Creep. You're so lost, man. This is Creep's territory. You know what to do, lamers like you? Lamers. That, that's the injustice I can't take. Right? Lamers. That, that's, that's the choice insult that yeah. he would want to take in this dystopian fucking world. Like a relentless pony arm attacking swarms. Yeah. Kill them. Look what that hell Oh, this gun sucks. Oh, yeah, that was a, a thing, too. We have to try and get them another one. But when they get dazed, you can do a middle mouse button to do this. Glory the kills. middle mouse button. This, yeah. The Glory scroll kills, wheel? Yep. You just have to press it in. That's and fucking You can kind of zoom in from far away. And then it builds up your kill meter. Well, I guess kill meter is kind of hard to describe it as. But your heat gauge? Non-heat gauge? You can't see it. But you go faster with each kill. And that will dissipate by the next uh, battle. Okay. gonna whack him. They don't always go into a daze, unfortunately. That's fair. I could there's probably like a stun a hidden stun meter or something. Yeah. You're invincible. Doom, you know. Oh, I killed him. That's clear. And then she goes a little like cute. You did well. Oh she's really cute. Yeah she's really cute. And we're fast now oh, we're gone. Sure, hack it. Done. Rip and Go. tear until it's Hacker done, hands. they say. Fought out of the car, because I guess you hate... You know when you ambush someone, you just kind of have to crawl underneath in the cars? You gotta come out menacingly so they get scared and not move. Yeah. And uh, the only reason that I can't shoot them is because I refuse to shoot down. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a creed. I, I have to use it. I hate that they're taking advantage of it. That's the second reason I'm killing them, uh, top of the language part of it, too. And those glowy kills are kind of simple. That gun. That's clear. Did pretty well. Get a puppy. Ah, oh, still A+. Plus. There's a little different pros based off how well you do. We can fail these two and we just get another chance at it. Oh, so it's not a perma fail? No. That's nice. Yeah. I think so, anyways. Then again, I could be thinking of a different one. The hard one. There's a little extra uh, developer area. That has like the hardest hacking you can try to accomplish. We can do that last if I can remember. We can zoom in pretty far from you if you didn't see that. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So it's slowly ramping up the gameplay here. It's nice. Oh, this gun sucks too. <laughs> so, all these levels are predetermined and stuff, right? Yeah, all the stages are preset. And there's even the uh, minions area. Domination, there you go. That was cute. It's only uh, the uh, the weapons that are random. I believe so, yes. I believe so, though. I would not guarantee that. There is something, I think, coming up here that was very competent is random. It's like, Wizard of Right Specialist as bad as his code. Damn. Fuck, I can't. I wouldn't take that. I would die. And she also gave, like, a cute heart emoji. I don't know what that one is either. When dystopian future, we don't actually have emojis. You still have text emojis. But would they really be emojis, or would they just go back to old emoticons? Uh, that's true. ASCII art. Uh, that's going to return in the future. Uh, you know what? I want that.